C Company 126 Infantry. Uh, also last night, Alpha Company briefed their plan for this operation. So this morning... So this is all the time what happens. So if it's a platoon size element, then the mechanic on the 780... Hey! <laughs> So we can move up and you'll be able to see the uh, support rock fire position and the transition from support and assault into the breach. <coughs>
I'm Lieutenant Colonel David Williams. I'm the commander of 1st Battalion, 502nd Infantry Regiment, 2nd Brigade Combat Team, 101st Airborne Division, Air Assault. So trench warfare is significant because when you think about large-scale combat operations, uh, a force that's on the offense will come to a culmination point. Uh, so typically you'd see a trench uh, dug into the ground uh, as part of a defensive network. So it could be for a prolonged uh, defensive operation or it could be a hasty defense. Uh, but either way, the trench is really designed to offer protection, uh, to protect either supplies, resupply, um, and protect fighting forces as we regenerate combat power, uh, or to set in a defense and, and absorb some of the enemy's offensive capability uh, in the effort to uh, uh, deplete them, to get them to a position where we can then counterattack and resume the offensive. It's going to be significant uh, in future warfare. Um, we're going to face the urban fight. Uh, as you can see in the background, that's going to be part of uh, what we do. We know that, but we're also going to move uh, into more of a maneuver warfare uh, in, in open spaces using micro terrain. And the trench gives you that significant uh, capability that uh, you can protect yourself. But on the offensive side, we know that the enemy is going to do the same. And so we have to train to be able to assault through obstacle networks uh, into trenches. Uh, and clear them of the enemy so that we can control that terrain uh, as we transition back to the offense.